Uh, continue to be really proud of our guys' effort. You know, um, came out a little slow, got off to a little bit of a bad start. You know, we continue to find ways to claw ourselves back, got a lead at halftime, came out, made a couple shots to get a lead. Um, you know, and then ultimately it comes down to, you know, making some plays. And, you know, tonight, you know, we shoot, um, you know, 11 for 22 from the foul line uh, and a couple key turnovers at key times. And that's what really, uh, you know, led to our, our not being able to finish off and win the game. Um, our guys are resilient. We keep working hard. We keep battling. Um, you know, and, and we just, you know, again, that's the number one team in the league. And, you know, both games we played them, we were right there. And we just got to. We got to keep hanging in there. I told our guys we're just we're a couple plays away and a couple great days in March away from from uh, you know putting all these tough losses behind us. Question. Toronto, uh, just one point for you in the second half. You see anything defensively that, that they did to you differently in the second half than the first? Uh, yeah, I think they did a uh, good job with their zone. You know, it's tough to find spots in their zone to get to get good shots from uh, to get open. But uh, I think they, I just think they did a good job of staying in their zone. Well, you were kind of forced to go with Savion there in the first half, and you seem to really seem to give you guys a spark. What uh, did, did you think that he had? Did you, did you think that could happen, or did that catch you by surprise? No, we've been playing him a little bit more in practice, Jerry. He's he's really doing a nice job. You know, one of the things we try to do, uh, obviously, with our, our, our lack of depth in the backcourt, uh, playing playing at him a little bit. He can take Stevie off the ball, and obviously Stevie got in foul trouble a little bit more tonight, so we were uh, forced to play him even a little bit more than we had hoped to. But I thought Adam did a great job. Um, you know, gave us a nice lift, and he does a real nice job of sharing the ball. I thought both times we put him in in the first half, and then again the second half, uh, I thought he really gave us some uh, some good life. You mentioned the uh, slow start. Uh, this season, it seems that every game, almost every game, you get off to a slow start. Is there is there anything? Uh, could you comment on that? You know, uh, a little bit, it really comes down to us putting the ball in the hoop. You know, we make a couple shots early. Uh, we, we, we tend to be a little bit more aggressive defensively. I thought the first two or three possessions of the game, we played great defense. I mean, we had everything scouted out. We had everything ready. I thought we did a great job. You know, we just we just missed some easy shots around the basket and then, you know, got out to a little bit of a slow start. But, again, our, our kids battle. We, we, we hang in there. We fight. We got ourselves a lead at halftime. And, ultimately, we've just got to be able to execute down the stretch, whether it's making free throws or not turning the ball over. Well, do you think you guys got tired? I mean, Northeastern, uh, a little bit deeper. Do you just think the lack of buys you have that wore you out a little bit, or do you just think Northeastern hit the shots when they had to hit the shots? I think they made a couple of tough shots. We had a couple of defensive breakdowns. We had, you know, a couple, uh, you know, tricky lineups out there on defense, and we had we had two breakdowns led to five points. Um, you know, and that's really what it comes down to. And then ultimately, uh, we came back and, and had some good looks and, and got fouled. And just, you know, you know, when you shoot 11 for 22 and the foul line home, it's going to be tough to win. Um, but again, we still, we still, you know, again had a possession to tie the game, just like we did up there. So, if they're the best team in the league, um, you know, I give our guys and our staff and our team a lot of credit. We're, we're continuing to battle, even though, uh, you know, uh, we haven't been able to finish some of these games off. Coach, we've seen a lot of games uh, like tonight from Steven, three for five in the first half, only one shot in the second half. Is it a matter of defense is just adjusting to him, or are you having trouble getting him the ball? A little bit. We had a little trouble getting him the ball tonight. You know, we were trying to get that ball inside, and, and their, um, you know, their kind of three-two matchup zone uh, presents a lot of problems for us, and we really were struggling to get the ball into him. And we, we've got to find ways to get him more touches around the basket. The one thing that Steven's seeing now started last week at James Madison. He saw it again today. His teams are now double teaming him in the post because he's become a really effective scorer. Um, but you know, you have to give Steven a lot of credit. I mean, uh, 13 rebounds. I mean, he he really got us back in the game by rebounding the basketball. Steven, you had nine boards in the first half. Five were offensive. What was the difference between the first and second half? Did they get a body on you? Um, yeah. I mean, the second half they they put a lot of bodies on me. I feel like there was two guys on me every time I try to go up and, and hit the glass. Being simple. Can you just talk about the last uh, the three pointer? I mean, obviously, didn't have a lot of room to get that off. Just what you saw. Yeah, I didn't have um, I didn't have a lot of room to get it off. I was hoping maybe I could get a foul or something, maybe create a better shot. But he's just too too long of a player, and he got a hand on it. He made a good a good defensive play. Mo, our uh, Daquan Moose are six for six shooting That's pretty good. Obviously, what are they kind of developing the way? You'd like to see them come into they are. Area. The trick for us with them, Jerry, is, is playing a little bit of a tricky lineup on defense. And, and they're offensively, they did some real nice things. Uh, you know, defensively, that we had a couple breakdowns with those guys. That's why I went back to a little bit of a smaller lineup, you know, down the stretch there. But, um, you know, we're going to keep keep pushing and, and, and juggling guys around. And, and like I said, you know, and, and I'll, I told our guys, and I'll, I'll say it again, you know, we're, we're a, a couple plays and a couple great days away in March from, from putting a lot of these tough losses behind us. How did you talk about that three-guard lineup? 
out there, Adam, with the phone ball yet, Stevie off the ball. Why do you think that worked? Why do you think that worked? Well, I think he's taking a little pressure off Stevie. You know, he's had to carry such a load. And, and one thing Adam does, he does a really nice job of, of moving the ball around. You know, and obviously he's trying to get his uh, feet on the ground, but he plays his role. And, and uh, he's got a lot of guts. You know, he's got a lot of guts. He, he really does that. <coughs> I hollered at him one time when he got that offensive rebound for trying to do something that he probably doesn't do, and, and he knows. But he's uh, he's been a, you know he's a walk on. He, he joined the team halfway through the year, and you know got to give him a lot of credit. Well, was a loss like this more agonizing or encouraging because you came so close and, and, and you had the best team in the league on the ropes for most of the 30 minutes there? You know, or is it both? What is it? They're all agonizing, Jerry. You, you see me online at 3 o'clock in the morning because I can't sleep. I mean, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're going to continue to keep working. Uh, we're going to continue to keep battling. Uh, we're going to go down and get in the plane, go down to Wilmington tomorrow night. We're going to give them our best shot. Thank you, Coach.